Hey everybody and welcome to another series of videos that I'm making on 6th edition Tyranids. This time I'm focusing on the new units of the game that nobody's played before. That has made, slowed down my video making uh, schedule extensively because I really want to play test these guys before making any opinions about them. Um, and so far, I've, I'm happy with the results. I'm, I really am. I'm going to start today with the Horus Specs because he was the most fun to play. Um, a brief overview, the Horus Specs is a monstrous feeding creature. From what I can tell, or at least from what I've been using him for, he's great at wiping out your standard troop unit, uh, a standard Imperial Guard platoon, uh, a Tau Fire Warriors, Eldar Guardians, everything like anything that is whose toughness three this guy will chew up. It's fun. Uh, at least up to a good six models a turn. That's what you can anticipate would be average, that you're going to eat six models a turn. Uh, when you're dealing with Space Marines, it's a little more iffy, uh, but you're still eating a good four, four models a turn. You, at least four models a turn are going to die. And since Space Marines tend to come in smaller units, that's, that's actually quite a good thing too. Now, here's the trick with the horror specs. Uh, it, it works differently when you're dealing with Space Marines versus with your standard Weapon Skill 3, Toughness 3 units. Where, um, and here's how. When you're dealing with the uh, standard Imperial Guard type of unit, he charges in, he's going to get repay, he's going to get Feeder Beast first. Feeder Beast means that if he makes any unsaved wound in a turn, he regenerates automatically a wound that was taken on a, and I underline this, previous turn. Uh, not the turn you're in. Um, and the next one is, and this is almost a no-brainer, you should be giving him regeneration. Because that essentially means he's going to, if he's in hand-to-hand -hand combat, almost certainly always make one unsaved wound to heal, to regenerate one point of return, and a 4-plus to regenerate another. He comes with 5 wounds, he's toughness 6, he has that highly sought after three plus armor save so he, he's gonna be hard to kill he's, he's gonna be hard to kill I had lots of firing at this thing we did lots of fire I had one time I just set up the scenario where there were two full squads of um, fire warriors shooting at this guy and I put him 24 inches away I also gave him some terrain or stuff like that it, it's pretty tough to take this guy down. As long as you don't just stick him, stick him in an open field and say, hey, please shoot me. I've got nobody else around and I want to die. You'll be fine. Um, the Grasping Tongue. His only shooting attack. Grasping Tongue, which if you roll a six, gives him gulp. Gulp means that it becomes a precision shot. So basically the idea that I see when you do that is as you're charging into the unit, you're going to pick out that vet sergeant or special weapons character or just somebody you don't like. And sometimes when you're playing Eldar, that could be the Farseer. Yes. And just swallow it whole. Um, it's a strength 6 AP2 hit. So, for Toughness 3 creatures, that's insta-kill. For Toughness 3 creatures who have 3-plus <laughs> armor saves, or even 2-plus armor saves, it's still... It's gone. <clears throat> so that usually takes out one right there. It is a uh, ballistic skill of 3, but we're talking about the precision shot anyway. So, next... We're going to talk about uh, feeder. Well, I said rap rapacious hunger, not feeder beast. Rapacious hunger basically says that in the turn where the horror specs charges, 
charges. Not every turn. That was a mistake. I made it first when the first few paleo tests. Uh, every unsaved wound the horror specs makes, it gets an extra attack. This is not. This is only of its standard wounds. None of the prehensile tail, hammer of wrath, or or any of those other types of thing, wounds. It just has to be its normal hit. That means you're probably going to be doing a good four to six hits in a turn fairly regularly. It's very hard to only get three attacks unless unless the dice gods don't like you. So the, he, he comes with crushing claws. So he's going to be doing strength seven attacks. Um... He, he, he's going to be hitting you fairly often. Now, so in your typical scenario, imagine a 10-man Imperial Guard type of unit or substitute. You're going to be charging in. You're going to get your Hammer of Wrath attack at initiative 10. Um, you're going to be getting your normal attacks. You're, oh, you're also going to be getting... a. Uh, uh, the grasping tongue attack as you're going in. So hopefully at that point in time, two units are already down. So it's down to an eight-man unit. Then when you get into hand-to-hand, -hand, you're going to get your three normal attacks. Let's assume they hit. Um, at least one hits. So that means you're going to be getting at least four attacks. But let's 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 be optimistic here and say all three of them hit. So that's another six. So since these are going to be with crushing claws, you're going to be talking about pretty much insta-killing everybody they touch. Um, that would that would be another that's another six attacks. With the two from before it, you're talking about eight hits now. If you give him a propentile tail, it gets the thresher tail, but I'm not even going to worry about that. Let's assume you don't have it. Now, that that's pretty much enough to knock a unit down to two. So then they get their attacks back on you. <laughs> and this is, this is where the fun starts. Uh, he comes with acid blood. For those of you who don't remember, acid blood basically means that if you actually manage to wound this guy, you will then take a strength 6 AP2 auto hit at the initiative the wound takes place on top of it. Now, this is actually fun because that means these lower guys, the weaker guys, like an Imperial Guard unit, probably won't wound him. And if they roll those sixes... Uh, they'll they'll be killed for their effort. Uh, this takes actually takes more place when you start fighting the higher initiative armies. So you're talking about Space Marines and uh, Eldar and things like that, which have a higher initiative in it because they hit first, and by the time it gets around to your turn, they probably would have killed two or three of their units at least all by themselves. That's the beauty of this unit uh, with, with the acid blood. Now, a little note here to GW. Again, please, stop it with the freaking confusing rules, okay? Uh, it says when I first started playing this guy, and I know other people are going to be making this mistake, and I know especially non tyrannid players are going to try to call them on this. But uh, the first thing that I saw with this Initiative 3 was I wanted to give him Acid Blood specifically to balance out the higher initiative units. And then right next to the Acid Blood in the Biomorphs, you'll see a little 2. And if you go down to that footnote, you'll say, cannot be taken by horror specs. And I thought, well, that sucks. Until you go back and you eye the profile a little more detailed and you see that it comes with acid blood automatically. Yes, I've had it pointed out to me before that horror specs can't get acid blood because they thought I took it as a biomorph. No, I didn't. It 
comes with acid blood. But can't take it! Ah, thanks again, GW. Um, so it has acid blood. That takes care of the higher initiative units. And if that's not enough, if you really just want to knock down that last two units or something like that, yeah, take the Thresher Tail. Uh, that, that pretty often means that you're going to get a nice solid nine deaths, eight to nine kills on a standard toughness tree weapon, weapon skill three unit. Uh, so if that's a 10 man squad, uh, <laughs> you're, you're down to one. And if that one happens to roll a six on its wounds or something like that, yay, it's probably killed itself. Um, it's, it's really a fun unit to play. Uh, I, I can imagine it being even more fun against orcs. I don't really have an orc player to work against here, but I have a feeling that it's, it's, it's pretty good at wiping, wiping out orc mobs. Uh, so that's the horror specs in brief. Um, there's a lot more I can say about this guy in terms of tactics, but I just wanted to give a brief overview of it, and I hope you enjoy that. Keep watching.